All right, this is the MiG-21, uh, an early Soviet uh, jet fighter aircraft. You see, after World War II, U.S. fighters and bombs Fighters, bombs, and spy planes were becoming a lot more serious of threats as they were being equipped with those new fast jet engines. It was a competition between um, the legendary aircraft maker Sukhoi and McCoy and Gurevich to build it, a uh, new one for the Soviet government to counter the American threats. Emphasis was put on speed to catch these new American uh, fighters and bombers. Now, McC the MiG team, uh, standing for McCoy and Gurevich, built two prototype designs. The YE-4 had delta wings, like a delta, sort of like a triangle shape. It's hard to understand. While well, the YE-2 had sweep, had swept back wings. They found that delta wings, were, uh, in this case, were better for going fast and supersonic speeds. They're going to present the YE-4 to the um, the Soviet committee, but the uh, eventually the Sukhoi Su-9 won the competition. But MiG wasn't ready to give up. They rebranded their plane to be a dogfighter uh, to intercept bombers and to fight fighters. They were given a contract um, to build it. Now, the MiG-21 had the White Force Delta Wing design. It had one pilot and one R-25 engine that could propel the MiG-21 to Mach 2, two times the speed of sound. It had a short-range targeting radar, cannons, and the K-13 Sidewinder missile after the Soviets reverse-engineered American AIM-9 missile. Uh, that was unexploded but lodged in a Chinese fighter jet um, that was fired by an American well, F-86 Sabre donated to Taiwan during the China-Taiwan conflict. Um, the MiG-29 then fought in the Vietnam War. MiG-21, sorry. Uh, where it used tactics to stay hidden and be vectored by ground radar because it didn't have a great uh, radar on itself. Then it would come in close... Uh, with its cannons from the sides or behind to surprise the Americans. The plane uh, also served in the Iran-Iraq wars and the Arab-Israeli wars with varying success. For its relative mechanical simplicity and good performance, 1,000 were built for at least 11,000 were built for at least 60 countries, making it one of the most mass-produced jet aircraft ever. Um, although they are mostly retired, some are still in service. Fun facts, which are. Um, in response to the MiG-21's special tactics that I was talking about, the U.S. created the Fighter Weapons School. I think that's what they call it, also known as Top Gun. Like the movie Top Gun, the special fighter school. The MiG-21 still serves in Romania and Croatia, which are both NATO and EU countries. Thanks for the inspiration and found and explained. Uh, you had a great video on it. This is also the Smithsonian's um, aviation book. Thanks for watching and have a great day.